Now, when you leave on a bike ride, you may encounter a few hazards. Now, these range from the normal to the slightly more unusual. I myself have strayed into unusual territories today. And in this video, we're going to take a look at some of those unusual hazards that you might not think of when you head out on your bike. And we've had some brilliant ones sent in from you guys too. Man, I did a loop the loop a second ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. OK, I'm going to start things off. Hailstones, 2019 Adriatic Ironica race in Italy. I was having a nice warm day in the sun. I was quite enjoying my time in the Gruppetto, actually. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, the biggest storm of my life just came down out of nowhere. Hang on. Sorry. And I tell you, the hailstones were literally this big. We were riding up this mountain in the Dolomites. I saw the clouds starting to approach and then the heavens just opened. I didn't have a time to get off my bike and get into a team car. I literally just ran, jumped in a bush, got any shelter that I could, and I just hid there because the stones were just falling down. Everyone in my group was just, we were literally crying with pain. And the thing was that the verge was quite slippy, so I kept falling down this verge and then my legs would get the hailstones. So I'd be having to kind of crawl up the verge again and escape. Um, the most bizarre experience of my life. Anyway, it lasted for about an hour. And once it did finally stop, we got back in the team cars and we drove to the finish. I got out 10K before the line and then rolled across the finish line. Definitely should have been DQ'd for that, Connor. Probably should have, but the problem was that the shower was so localised, it only hit our group, unfortunately, and the front group were kind of in nice weather still. Should have been in the front group then? Yeah, I should have been in the front group. I should have been in the front group. But also the descent was absolutely covered in ice. It was literally impassable. So that's my excuse anyway. Fixing a puncture can be a tedious affair at the best of times, but compared to GCN viewer Sandy Le Cyclist, I think I can look back at my previous puncture stops as well pretty relaxing. Yeah, poor Sandy stopped to fix his puncture in a cloud of midges, and according to Sandy, all his exposed skin looked like this, red oh, raw. Ouch. Oh, that's horrid, isn't yeah. it? Mm. Fun fact for you though, Sandy, only pregnant midges bite. Really? Why? Mm, Google it. It's kind of boring. Oh. Well, you hear it here first, guys. Don't fix a puncture in a cloud of midges. Pregnant midges, either. Pregnant ones. Might get more than you're bargaining for. What is it? Oh, 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 oh there's some here now. Why did you put this place? <laughs> what about this one in from GCN viewer Michelle Martins? Now, this is quite possibly the most bizarre one I've ever heard for finishing a ride early. Now, she told us that she was cycling along a canal on the way back from Manchester and she tried to pass a fisherman. Now, whilst passing this fisherman, she accidentally lost her balance and crashed into him, landing on his fishing rods. When she got up, she realised she'd impaled herself on one of the fish hooks. They couldn't get it out. It was completely stuck and she had to go to hospital. Oh, quick nick of a knife and some antibiotics later and she was all healed up. Who'd have thought? Heading out on a ride and you end up in hospital with a fishing hook. In your leg. I mean, it's taken getting hooked on cycling to a new level, isn't it, man? Oh. Okay, right. <laughs> okay, right. I've got a very bizarre story for you now, man. So, Go on. I was on a club run. I think I was about 17, and we're riding through a wooded area. Yeah. My friend Baz had just attacked off the front of our group. He was on his own, so about seven of us behind. He was on his own, and a stag ran out of the bushes to the side of the road aimed itself at Baz, oh. rotted him off the bike. Damn. I saw it all in front of me. Baz went flying off the bike into the bushes and the stag ran off. It was all happened in a split was second. Was he right? He was okay, a bit bruised. Couldn't imagine. Um, but just bizarre, the most yeah. bizarre thing I have ever seen on a bike. massive horns. Big, big horns, yeah. yeah. Okay, hazards can come out of nowhere, though they take any shape or form. And this one, it's a slightly more unusual one that affected Larry Warbest, current pro for AG2R. Take it away, Larry. Hey, everyone. So Connor asked me to share a story of uh, <clears throat> a bizarre hazard within the sport. Um, so, yeah, I guess uh, <clears throat> once in uh, the Giro in 2016, my hips were tight. So I was doing a stretch called Pigeon Pose, if you are familiar with yoga. And uh, yeah, I was trying, uh, my hips were pretty tight, so I thought, okay, I'll do a long stretch. So I sat there like two, two and a half minutes. And when I stood up after the two and a half minutes, 
<clears throat> I couldn't feel my leg anymore. And I thought, oh, you know, I could just cut off a bit of circulation, you know, leaning on, <laughs> putting a lot of weight on this muscle. And so I was shaking my leg. Well, I woke up in the middle of the night and I almost fell over getting out of bed because I still didn't have uh, what I thought was circulation in my leg. So I got a bit worried. I started Googling like gangrene and stuff like that. You know, how long uh, after you lose circulation will you lose a limb and everything? In the end, what I had done is I had pinched a nerve. And uh, yeah, our team doctor contacted actually like one of the world's leading nerve experts. And he said uh, that that is a thing, um, but it's very, very rare. And it usually only happens in uh, professional dancers uh, because they're hyper flexible in some places, but tight in others, which uh, kind of describes me pretty well. So yeah, that's the story. Uh, haven't stretched uh, too crazy since then. So. Be careful, stretching's not always the best thing. Ooh. Oh, I think I've overstretched a bit there. Man, I can't go on. You can do the rest of the video without me. I think I'm just gonna have to limp home a bit. It's all downhill to my house now. God, you're so soft. Sorry. Don't worry, Connor will be back with us in a bit. I'll make sure of that. Anyway, now I'm gonna tell you about my most bizarre encounter on the bike. And mine was actually out in Portugal a few days before the European Championships. I was out on a nice easy spin with a group of cyclists on nice quiet country roads. And out of nowhere, a dog started chasing us. And it was a vicious little dog. Usually I love dogs, dog person. But this one, it was coming for us fast, had its teeth out and it looked angry. And we had to sprint real fast. So if you ever want a max power PB, get a dog to chase you. Guaranteed a PB every time but it was pretty scary got my adrenaline then going but yeah i had to do quite a hard effort a few days before race day which wasn't ideal okay this next clip is not for those who are a little bit squeamish or those who like rats i mean i love rats really yeah oh jesus christ that was a rat oh <laughs> Okay, this next clip was taken from a rather long ride I did recently on a shoot with GCM Plus. Now it was 3 a.m. in the morning. We we're starting to lose our focus a bit in the night and I saw a rat run out into the road and I actually said, look, there's a rat. Then it ran straight back into the road, right into my front wheel. I just about held it up without crashing. You didn't crash? No, I held it up. Impressive. I think, I think it's because I'm so heavy, to be honest, that I kept the weight on the back wheel. Um, but the poor rat didn't survive the encounter, oh. I'm afraid poor to rat. say. Yeah, poor um, but never ever expected that to happen. No. At 3 a.m. in the night. Kept you awake though, didn't it? But that it got did. the adrenaline going. It did. Well, I did get rat fur all over my bottles. Oh. <laughs> The 2017 World Tour was tough enough, but for poor Belgian rider Sander Arme, things got off to a rather unexpected start when he was stung by a bee on the forehead. Now, Sander soldiered on using tape to allow him to see because he didn't want to take medication, which would have ruled him out of the race. Wow, what a trooper. A similar thing actually happened to GCN viewer Alison Stringer when she was out in the Alps on a descent and a bee got stuck between her glasses and her helmet. Ooh. And it got worse than that, apparently. Ouch. It's just not what you expect when you head out on a ride. And next thing, out of nowhere, a bee sting, and then you're in agony. Good tip, though, when you are riding in an insect-infested area, wear a hat under your helmet, zip your jersey up the whole way, and don't open your mouth. Just little breaths. Little breaths. Like through a straw. Every so often. Oh. What? Um. But, but man, 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 man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so those are some bizarre hazards you might encounter out on your bike. But have we missed any? If we have, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if anything, you've just learned some stories to break the ice with on your next cycling ride. Okay, that was a, that was a bit much, wasn't it? But, um, oh, man on. What? I think I see a sleeveless triathlete coming our way. Now, that is one hazard you need to watch out for. Oh. Come on!